All right, I'm here with Nick Feldman, uh, Ironman finalist, number one uh, recruit in the nation, and well-deserved, young man. You've done a great job. You carry yourself a class, and uh, it's been a joy watching you. I think one of the best things is watching the entire gym, just watching all of what you do. And uh, you seem to have committed yourself to your craft. Uh, from your freshman year to your senior year, talk about the growth that you, if you were to look back and look at yourself as a freshman, what do you see now that's different than you were as a freshman? That's a uh, tough question, yeah? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, first things first, I got kind of fat. Uh, you know, I was 160 freshman year. And I got, I've been eating a lot since then. Uh, but just like overall, like uh, mentally, getting more used to high school wrestling. Okay. And uh, just kind of, you know, that next level. And then it'll be a similar thing for college. And then I think kind of being in a room like Malvern where everybody wants to grow oh, that's and great. the improvement and the coaches want you to just, you know, be the best. And they really push you to do that. I think it's made not just me, but not just me, but like, Almost the whole team jumped levels. Well, man, that's incredible when you can get the whole team to jump. That is a great point. You know, you're the number one uh, recruit in the nation. You signed to Ohio State. And I do ask, you mentioned how your coaches push you to be the best version of yourself. Like, if you really introspect and take stock of who, who you are as a person and as an athlete, do you feel you're close? Do you feel you're miles away still? Like, where do you see yourself as far as reaching your potential? Like, how does that work for you? Yeah, you know, I think... Um I think my, my potential can be pretty high. You know, I've I've really set high expectations for myself. I always try to. So you know, I never like it's you know it's nice you know being in these situations in these tournaments. But the end goal is always in the next level. Mm. Push myself for those next level, top level guys. Next level. You're talking Ohio State. Are you allowed to talk about the process at all? Like, how did that come about? Yeah. Okay. Great. Definitely. Let's talk. Um. Because um. I recently had a chance to interview Tom Ryan, Coach Ryan, uh, yeah. down at Virginia Tech. They they won a duel. Uh, they were they were uh, a little bit l lower in the in the rankings than Virginia Tech, but they came out on top. And he was really excited about his class coming in. Yeah. You Shume, who we just saw in the hallway. Um, there was obviously Buzakis. Uh, there was a great class coming in, and uh, he has he has raved about you. And I guess the process as it goes. What was that for you? Like yeah. he called you up one day, he sent you an email, or how did that work? Yeah. So, I mean, coaches can call the guys June 15th before okay. their junior year. And that was the first time I talked to him. And immediately like, after the conversation, I was like, yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> I got a good feeling about him. So, you know, I just kind of, and the whole dead period really slowed it down. Mm. But, um, you know, eventually I could take my visits. And, I mean, I just, I fell in love. You know, I love the mm. place. I mean, and then you see all the guys, we've got Mendez, Buzakis, Shoemate. I mean, all these dogs. Like, it's just, it's unreal to see the kind of guys just come together and the way that, they're just building that program in a really awesome direction. That's amazing. Hey, I, I agree wholeheartedly. We're at three minutes on this interview, man. I really appreciate you taking the time, man. Best of luck in the Thank finals. You. Best of luck moving forward. Anything else for us? No, that's it. Okay.